was uh, number 22, Jay Martin, the junior running back from Bartlett. Also going into the game for Maryville was Zach Lehman, offensive lineman, sophomore. And that's a new quarterback for Maryville. And Terry Stewart from Pleasant Grove, Alabama, 6'1", He's a sophomore. They haven't listed him as a running back. And now he's uh, playing the wildcat position. Big kid. And he'll just get a couple of yards. Maybe gets the first down. 150 left to go in the game. 48-6. Does get the first down. Out comes Terry Stewart. And back in goes Trey Pope. At the 33-yard line with 140 left to go. Marable looks to the sideline for some plays. We've seen... Uh, Five quarterbacks today for Maryville, if you count the last one. And to the outside with a good run. And down the sideline goes the big boy. That's Jay Martin, 5'10", 210. And Martin gets a good uh, workout. Quentin Powell in there for Maryville. Eric Von Holland in there also for Maribel at tight end on this side. Pope, the quarterback, looks to the sidelines. Jay Martin back there, running back. And Pope going to keep the ball himself following his blockers, and he's going to get across the 50 to the 45, maybe to the 44. Tackle made by Greensboro Cornelius Bailey, a freshman from Chesapeake, Virginia. Greensboro traveled today from Greensboro. They went to get a hotel and uh, didn't realize that the University of Tennessee was playing and all the hotels were booked. So they uh, had a long drive to get here today. And getting close to the first down anyway will be Jay Martin. 25 seconds left. That was the more than likely the last play of the game. Maribel wins today 48-6 to over Greensboro. And again, Maribel with a bye next week. It will be homecoming after that. And the homecoming game start at 2 p.m. Great time for homecoming. Maribel wins today. 48-6, the Scots back on the winning track. Certainly uh, a good game for Maribel. I'm getting a little Instruction here by SID Eric Hedgeson. Always good to have him as backup. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Eric. Eric, been here a while, does a great job. Maribel winning 48-6 uh, to 6 over Greensboro today. Uh, statistically, Maribel dominated just about in every aspect. 34 first downs to 11 for Greensboro. Maribel had seven first downs passing, 26 rushing, one by penalty. Greensboro, 11 first downs, five passing, three rushing, three by penalty. Maribel, much better third down efficiency today, seven of 14. Greensboro, just four of 16. Maribel ran 91 plays for 617 yards today. And uh, throw in 96 yards of penalties in Maribel. Had a very good day today, holding Greensboro to just 171 yards of offense. The average play for Maribel, 6.8 yards. Greensboro, 2.8 yards. 
Marable net yards passing 180. They were 17 of 28 with one interception. Greensboro net yard passing 132. They were 14 of 34 with no interceptions. Marable one sack. Greensboro one sack. Marable net yards per pass 6.4 yards. Greensboro 3.9. Marable with uh, 437 yards rushing on 63 attempts. 6.9 yards per rush. Greensboro, 39 net yards rushing on 28 attempts. That's 1.4 yards. Maribel had four punts for 103. Greensboro punted 10 times today. The average punt, Maribel's 136 yards. Greensboro, 41 yards. Maribel, again, nine penalties for 96 yards, which... Uh, Certainly didn't help that 617 yards. Had they not have those penalties, they would have been over 700 yards in total offense. Adam Diggs for Maribel, 11 of 19 for 100 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Kane Adamson, 5 of 7, 71 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Chris Castillo got in. He was 1 for 1 for 9 yards. Trey Pope got in to uh, throw, and he was 0 for 1. Running uh, Elijah Chenier, 10 point yards a carry, 15 for 151 yards. Elijah Harrison, 14 for 95 yards, 6.8 yards per carry. Certainly a, a good day. Uh, Chase Christmas got in there, 10 of 89, 9 yards per carry, 31 yards was his longest. Kane Adamson, uh, 6 for 25 for 42 yards. Jay Martin carried there at the end, 3 for 22. Kashawn Decker got in 4 of 18. Diggs 3 for 13. Uh, Sean Holcomb 1 of 10. I think that's Simon Holcomb. Stewart uh, 2 of 7. Brandon Cloyd got in for 1 carry for 6 yards. Trey Pope 1 for no yards. Chris Castillo 2 for 3. Elijah Rachel 1 of 4. Reception Siegel 3 for 58 yards. One touchdown. Simon Holcomb, two for 55. No touchdowns. Jordan Ligon, one for 35. Devon Lewis, five catches today, 25 yards. Good for him. Uh, Brady Hess from Alcoa, the tight end, one of two for two yards. One uh, fumble recovery by Marable. That was a TD. And uh, Marable leads today going away, 48 to six. They'll be back in two weeks here at home for homecoming. We're going to sign off. This is George DeBobby saying so long, everybody. Thanking our sponsors, the Hampton Inn, La, uh, La Quinta Inns and Suite, the Courtyard Marriott, the Holiday Inn Express, Firehouse Subs, Ken Joe Markets, Realty Trust Group, LeConte Wealth Management, the Blunt Partnership, Jasper Highlands, Premier Transportation, and Smoky Mountain Brewery. This is George DeBobby saying Marable wins today, 48-6. So long, everybody.